I want to talk to you about using your Google Cloud printer. I know many of you have received these. Some of you may be not quite clear how to use it, so I thought I would do a quick little video to show you how to do it. It's actually quite easy. So this little Dell printer should look familiar. And I actually have instructions on my blog. So if you would go to the blog at the sdjccstech.blogspot.com, and then over here in the JCCS Tech folder, that's what you want to click on, because when you do that, it should open up a Google folder that has a couple different job aids for you, including how to um, access GoGuardian, how to access Apara, how to do Google Cloud Print, what our workflow is if you need help with different things, and how to reset student passwords, etc. But if you were to look at the uh, Cloud Printer instructions, it would tell you to go to google.com slash cloudprint. And it seems a little odd, but that's the way it works. So if you do this, it's kind of cool. One of the things that I would recommend that you do, though, let's bookmark this. Why do we need to continue to go back to that sheet? So if I grab the lock, as you can see here, if I grab the lock and I just grab it and I drag it into my bookmark bar and I let go, now I have a bookmark to my Google Cloud Print. And if IT has come out and they've set up a printer for you, they should have shared that printer with you. So if you click on printers, you should see not as many as I have, but you should see the printer that was set up for you. I want to show you the last one that we had set up. It was the SecRec Tech Academy one. I believe it was set up for Jade. And one of the things I want you to notice is as I look at SecRec Tech Academy here, it's, it's sort of in a darker color and it says owned by printer admin because that's how we set them up. But I do want you to notice some of these are grayed out, like this Dell Spa CR4 says offline for more than a month. Dell Vista Discovery uh, four offline for more than a month. That means either somebody moved them or they got them plugged or something happened to them. But if your printer is online, as Jade's is, I'm going to click on that, um, you have the ability to share the printer just like you would share a document in, in Google. It's really cool. So when I click on the printer, notice, so imagine I'm Jade, um, you should, when you click on it, your green button here that says share. That thing should be uh, ready for you. So the minute I click share, watch what happens. It's really cool. This looks just like sharing a Google Doc. So notice printer admin is the owner of this because that's the way we have it set up. But printer admin, which is our IT people, then they shared it with Jade because it was her printer and they allowed her to manage. And of course I added myself so I could do this tutorial. Now when you go to add somebody, you have the choice to either add their ability to just print or to manage, obviously if we're going to share this with students, we want to just share that so they can print. Now you can start to enter names of students one at a time, but hey, there's a better way to do this. So if you're a Hapara user, which most of you should be, um, I've got a test class here, so we're not using student data. I'm going to click on it here, and I have four students. I have Bruno Mars, I have Tom York, I have Kanye West, and Taylor Swift. So imagine I want to, I want those four to be able to print. Obviously, they're writing so many lyrics, they're going to need to be able to print. So if you go into the Class Info tab, real easy, go into your Class Info tab, and I can do a couple things. Notice, I have a student address list. I can grab their addresses from here, but that's a short-term solution. What I want to do is you have a class resource email, believe it or not which is just the email for this, this class. So if I copy that, and now I go back over to my cloud print, and I click share, and then I paste it in here, here's what I get. With the ability to print and click share, I've shared it with just that class. And so while someone's enrolled in my class, they should be able to print. If they are no longer enrolled in my class, they should no longer be able to use my printer. It's that easy, and it's pretty cool. And let's say that um, something's going on, you don't want the kids to print, well, guess what? I can just take away their ability to print. I can click it just like that. Um, so it's that easy to use the printers. You can share them individually. You can share them whole class now. And uh, ideally, you know, you can now manage um, printing really easy in your class. You just need to make sure it's online. If for some reason your printer is offline, that requires a tech request. I am not the IT people that do that kind of thing, but just put in a tech request. But if you need any other help with this, um, feel free to send me an email. And hopefully now you're ready to start printing like crazy.